For this air cannon video, I'll be using one of my fridge compressors hooked up to a solenoid valve operated air cannon which basically dumps a large steel reservoir of air through the solenoid valve into a 25mm breech loading barrel which can be seen here. Downrange I have a radio set up. This radio does work and it will be playing. But rather than using a solid hard cast lead slug today, I'm going to be loading this 25 millimeter barrel with a whole bunch of 177 steel BBs. The uh, muzzle to target distance is two and a half meters. So this should be a good blast into this uh, radio that will be running when I shoot it. At the last minute while loading, since this 25 millimeter barrel can hold a lot of stuff, I've decided to put some ball chain in there as well as the BBs, so the ball chain will be in. I'll now put steel BBs in and then fire at the radio. I've reached 350 PSI, so it's time to fire the air cannon shotgun load into the radio. It's very quiet in here suddenly, and we appear to have a smashed radio. That was certainly a good solid hit with that uh, shotgun blast at uh, two and a half meters range. As a matter of fact, the speaker was blown right through the radio and out the back. I've sat it in front at the bottom left there now. Quite a good damage to the radio. Here's a quick look at the back of it. The speaker was pushed clear through the unit by that shot blast. I'm going to fire a second shot at this radio, but as you can see, I've removed the aluminum 25mm breech loading barrel, and I've replaced it with a 2-inch uh, bore ABS plastic barrel, which will be firing the empty tube of caulking that we can see standing right there. I've turned the radio sideways and I'm going to try and hit it in the side. I'm coming up on firing pressure of 350 psi for the nearly empty caulking tube. Hopefully I can hit the radio with it at two, three meters distance. I think I hit it somewhere. Pieces came off.
The radio took a severe beating from that caulking tube, and the caulking tube is uh, a little deformed too. Especially the tip of it here. The body of it's fairly alright. I can probably shoot that caulking tube again. The radio, though, is another matter. It's pretty much finished.